What if the future of aviation didn't rely on fuel or even traditional charging? What if planes could generate their own power while flying? Sound impossible? Not anymore. Welcome to the future of flight, where innovation meets impossibility. This is Maxwell's self-charging plane, a machine that's redefining aerospace engineering, rewriting the rules of energy, and turning science fiction into science fact. Dramatic pause. And today, we're going behind the scenes to uncover how this miracle of modern engineering came to life. In 2023, when the aviation industry was still caught in debates over sustainable fuels and electric range limits, one company decided to leap ahead of the curve. Maxwell Aerospace, a quiet but fiercely innovative startup, set out with one goal, build an aircraft that powers itself in the air. A laughable ambition for some, but for Maxwell's engineers, it was a mission. This meant developing a craft that could capture energy in real time, while airborne, through a combination of solar-integrated wings, regenerated propulsion systems, and breakthrough AI flight optimization. At the heart of Maxwell's aircraft lies a trifecta of revolutionary tech. 1. Solar Skin Technology The wings are coated in ultra-lightweight, flexible solar arrays that harvest sunlight throughout the flight, even during low-light conditions using multi-spectrum absorption. 2. Regenerative Turbines Inspired by formerly erased cars, the plane recovers kinetic energy during descent and turns it back into power and aviation first. 3. AI-Driven Energy Management A smart system constantly analyzes altitude, weather patterns, and flight dynamics to balance power consumption with generation in real time, effectively turning the plane into a flying power plant. Together, this system doesn't just extend range. It redefines endurance, with some test models achieving continuous flight hours that were once deemed impossible, all without landing to recharge. But engineering the impossible doesn't come easy. Maxwell faced skepticism from investors, failures in early prototypes, and the dawning task of integrating delicate solar systems into aerodynamic weight-sensitive frames. Weather variables, battery degradation, and flight safety all became major hurdles. Yet, after 47 redesigns and over 1,000 flight simulations, Maxwell's Phoenix X prototype finally took flight and kept flying. In early 2025, in a remote airfield in Namibia, chosen for its sunlight-rich skies, Maxwell's aircraft completed a 1,200-kilometer loop without a single recharge stop. Midway through, the onboard system showed something astonishing. The plane had generated more energy than it had consumed the world's first net positive electric flight, a moment aviation historians may one day mark as the true beginning of post-fossil flight. Maxwell's self-charging plane isn't just a breakthrough. It's a promise, a future where the skies belong not to oil, but to innovation, where aircraft won't be limited by battery life, but only by human imagination. The news of Maxwell's successful net positive flight spread like wildfire. Aviation Forum Scientific Journals and even government agencies began asking the same question. Is this the moment we pivot away from jet fuel forever? Major players like Airbus, Boeing, and Ember suddenly found themselves on the back foot, with prototypes still stuck in the development phase. Meanwhile, Maxwell, a once underestimated startup, had quietly pulled off what was thought to be a multi-decade leap in five years. And the shockwave didn't stop at aviation. Countries with vast, sun-drenched skies... Kenya, Australia, the UAE, Chile, began inquiring about licensing the tech for cargo drones, commuter flights, even emergency services in remote regions. A silent revolution had begun, one where clean flight wasn't a privilege, but an open path forward. Maxwell's team isn't slowing down. In fact, they're already scaling up. A long-range, autonomous cargo plane capable of crossing continents without refueling a neural interface allowing pilots to optimize routes based on real-time atmospheric data, and perhaps the most ambitious, Maxwell Orbit, a hybrid aircraft designed to glide at the edge of the stratosphere, functioning as both a satellite and surveillance drone, powered entirely by atmospheric energy. But through it all, Maxwell insists on one core principle. Sustainability must scale. This isn't just about experimental aircraft or elite air travel. Maxwell wants his technology to transform how small towns receive goods, how emergency responders reach disaster zones, and eventually 
How people around the world fly, without guilt. Think about it. For over a century, air travel has symbolized speed and status, but also pollution, noise, and inequality. Maxwell's plane challenges that legacy with something quieter, cleaner, and radically inclusive. No runways. No fuel tankers. No layovers for recharging. Just clean, continuous flight, guided by the sun, the wind, and human ingenuity. It's a vision of flight where the sky belongs to everyone, not just airlines or militaries. And it invites a future where rural Africa, island nations in the Pacific, and forgotten mountain villages all have access to fast, reliable, and clean air mobility. But beyond the numbers and engineering marvels, there's a human story. We spoke to Lorado Makona, one of Maxwell's lead engineers based in Cape Town. She grew up in a rural village where planes were distant streaks in the sky, untouchable symbols of a world far removed from her own. Now, she's hoping to build the very technology that could one day land in those same villages, delivering medicine, food, and even educational tools all on solar power. Her voice trembled slightly when she said, We're not just building aircraft. We're building bridges through the sky. And she's not alone. Maxwell has begun training young engineers across Africa, South America, and Southeast Asia, equipping the next generation with tools to lead in a clean tech world, no longer consumers of foreign tech, but creators of their own future. Maxwell's rise also brings disruption and resistance. Some legacy aviation players have already begun lobbying for stricter regulations on non-conventional aircraft designs. Fossil fuel stakeholders fear the domino effect. If flight, one of the most energy-hungry sectors, can go green and self-sustaining, what's stopping everything else? But Maxwell isn't backing down. They've partnered with climate science groups, logistics networks, and even space agencies, making it clear this isn't a prototype. It's a paradigm shift. So picture this. A fleet of Maxwell aircraft soaring over the Sahara, delivering supplies powered only by sunlight. Humanitarian drones responding to disasters, not hours later, but within minutes, because they don't need to stop and refuel. Air taxis connecting underserved regions, no pollution, no delay. Imagine walking onto a plane that doesn't just take you somewhere, but gives power back to the planet as it flies. That's not tomorrow's dream anymore. That's Maxwell's mission, and it's already begun. What we're witnessing isn't just a shift in technology. It's the opening chapter of a new aviation era, one no longer chained to fossil fuels or confined by infrastructure, an era where flight is not a luxury, but a universal utility, where borders shrink not through politics, but through possibility. And it all begins with one idea. What if the sky could sustain itself? Maxwell answered that question with action. And now, the sky is no longer the limit. It's the starting point. Already, whispers are turning into waves. Competitors are rushing to replicate self-charging systems. Governments are reconsidering aviation policy to support green air corridors. Universities are launching in tight apartments focused on aerovoltaic flight systems, a term that didn't even exist five years ago. The ripple effects are enormous. Maxwell hasn't just built a plane. They've redefined an industry. Take a moment to breathe that in. A world where children grow up believing that planes don't pollute, they protect where your package isn't just fast, it's flown by clean energy, where the roar of an engine is replaced by the whisper of wind and solar conversion. We are standing on the edge of that world. And thanks to Maxwell, we can now step into it, not years from now, but today. Because engineering the impossible isn't just about machines. It's about people bold enough to ask, why not? And brave enough to build the answer. If the story moves you... If it made you believe again in what's possible, then don't keep it to yourself. Would you fly in a self-powered aircraft? Or, better yet, what would you build if limits didn't exist? This is the story of Maxwell's self-charging plane, a machine powered by sunlight, sustained by intelligence, and lifted by the dreams of humanity. Maxwell didn't just build a plane. They built a message to the world that technology doesn't have to come at the cost of the planet, that progress doesn't mean pollution, and that even the sky, once considered the final frontier, can be reimagined. In a time when the world desperately needed hope, they gave us something more powerful than wings. They gave us proof. 
Proof that the future can be clean. Proof that the impossible is just a challenge waiting for courage. And proof that sometimes the quietest revolutions make the loudest echoes across history. So the next time you look up and see something soaring across the sky, don't just wonder where it's going. Wonder how it's powered. Wonder why it matters. And know that somewhere high above the clouds, Maxwell's dream is already in flight. For more breakthroughs in sustainable tech, space innovation, and clean mobility, stay tuned right here. Rocket, if you found this as fascinating as we did, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Because the future of aviation is just getting off the ground, and we'll be here bringing you every game-changing leap.